Hey, hey, what is up? All you mechanical maniacs, Sir Squazar here. Welcome back to another episode of Rot to Rad. This is uh, uh, Quasar's Customs. This is my garage. Um, our Cuda here has been one of the uh, cars that we've been... It's like been like one of those project cars, right? It's been one of the cars that we've had uh, sitting outside for a while. And I've slowly but surely uh, started taking it on. Started doing some stuff with it. So I've got the engine all in place right here. The lower end is all built. Uh, I kept the engine heads um, natural. They're, they're performance engine heads, but I kept them natural. But uh, I did put the uh, water pump into an aluminum colored state. I had as much performance as I can with it. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, I, I have a another one over on my Barn Bargains one, the uh, Panther pink one. <laughs> It's just it just kind of lined up that way. I don't know how it happened, but on my barn bargains and other cheap challenges um, series, I have a Panther pink one that I'm basically doing the same thing too. So I'm gonna have the same car on both channels, um, just different colors. It's just kind of crazy. So um, let's get back to Rod to Rad, right? So Rod to Rad. Last week we built a Salem XL. Uh, I think it's an XL, right? Yeah, XL. Um, 1500 basically an old ford f100 truck uh she has the complete supercharged v8 overhead cam um complete with the carbon fiber drive shaft um i mean she's got some nice features uh actually actually put some whole shot uh, drag slicks on her and actually sometimes you know more times than not i keep the tires underneath the wheel wells on this build last week I actually extended these out as far as I thought could humanly possible. Because, I mean, if you remember the cars back in, I don't know, when I was growing up, cars were always hiked up in the rear end, and you always had these big wide slicks on the back. I had a 72 in Monte Carlo. Uh, I had these, you know, big old wide tires on the back, and um, always put, I had air shocks in the back, so I could pump it up, you know, put 50, 60 pounds in it. Put the rear end real high in the air, power brake it, and just smoke the tires like you would not believe. But um, I, they extended out just a little bit past the wheel well, and I, it, this reminded me of that when I was when I was building this. It's like that my uh, it's like my third car I think when I was sixteen. Um, yeah, so that is that um, the voting. You guys did extremely well with the voting. Thanks for all the votes. I really appreciate it. And the majority rules, I get to save it. So save vote it is. And even RPM, uh, Ryan over at RPM Games said, this needs to sit outside somewhere. Um, I already have a red charger out here. So I need to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to edit the parking configuration out here and try to find a place to put this thing, right? But for right now, honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it over to this spot right here. Um, we will save it. It will go to parking. Um, but yeah, I just I just want to. What am I doing? What the heck am I doing? So I'm going to move it over to outside the entrance of garage two. Thank you very much. So that's where it's going to stay for right now. Um, I find a different spot. I'm trying to uh, thinking. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Um, um, maybe I'll park it along here. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good place to put it for this kind of showcase, but I'll, I'll try to figure out a place. Uh, I may sit here for a while or I'll just put it in the parking, but it is a save. I'll tell you what, I am going to put it away. Um, let's go ahead and put it in the parking. We, it is a save, so we are going to put it in parking so we can lessen up everything oh it went over there that's where <laughs> that's where my cuda belongs actually so it'll sit there for a while uh, until the cuda gets fixed and then uh, we'll put the cuda over there all right so now what is rot to rad you may ask well rot to rad is where we go out into the junkyard and we find something that's rotten and we bring it back into the garage here and try to make it into something radical so that's what we're going to do. Let's go hit the junkyard and see what we can find. All right. Amongst the rust and the dust, we will find something 
and take it back to the shop. Now, this truck right here is another truck. This is Chop 204. Um, nice 1935 truck resto mod. Um, love the truck, but 204 is a little bit high for me. So that's one of the rules that I try to keep is that I keep it under 150,000 miles. I try to do something that I haven't done before. And if I've done it before and it's been sold because you guys didn't like it, then I try to bring it back and make it a little bit, bit different. Okay, so this is the SCEO. I don't know how you would pronounce that. LX550. I have not done this car. This is basically a Chrysler 500. Uh, 110,000 miles, which is under the 150,000 mile. Uh, it's got a, ooh, it's got a supercharged V8. Very impressive with the horsepower. So that alone is kind of impressive. Um, another thing I shouldn't do is with these cars is keep it the factory color here. So I'm not going to keep the factory color. So I'll have to paint it a different color. Um, actually a very, hmm, interesting. This might be an interesting choice because it's a vanilla car. Um, I haven't done, I didn't try to do vanilla cars for the longest time. And then I kind of had you know, some people say, why aren't you doing the vanilla cars? It's, you know, it's, it's, they're good. So I started bringing them in. Chrysler Roadrunner GTX, or the Plymouth Roadrunner GTX. It's a, a little over 500, 150,000 miles. We're not going to do it. And we've done one anyway. Supra, yeah, we've done. This is 15,000 miles. Um, factory color is red. Current color is blue. Um, I mean, we could do a Supra. But, I mean, we've done a couple of them. So, uh, ooh, Chinese car. This is, what is this? This is the CT edition. I haven't done one of these, uh, but 215,000 miles. It looked like that would have been a fun build. Huh. Looked like that would have been a fun build. All right. But 215,000 miles, I have to say goodbye to it. Uh, classic Mustang back here, 208. GT bus back. That's not going to happen. Um, we have... Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. We've got... Bone Shaker back here. We have done a Bone Shaker. It's across the street. Uh, VW, we've got Hot Wheels Custom. Uh, we've got the Lowrider. I think it's a Lowrider uh, edition in the garage. Uh, the Lancer uh, Charge Speed. Uh, we don't think we've done the Charge Speed one before. What are the miles on it? 108. 108. But it's still a, uh, a, a Evolution X. We've done one. Um... Oh, jeez. McLaren F1. Long tail. We've done we've done one or two. Look at the price tag on these things. Yeah. I, I'm playing in a sandbox, so it doesn't really matter. But it does, you know, to a certain extent. Um, the off-road version of the El Camino, 165000 That's a little high. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We've got the standard Escort with uh, 178 on it. Ford Focus we've done before. Van we've done before. The huge engine in the back. It's always crazy. Um, we got the Mazda RX3 at 179,000 miles. That's not gonna not gonna do anything. What is that back there? Every once in a while I was like, well, what is that back there? I can't really tell. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's an Atom 330. Now one of the electric cars, and I think we've done the Atom 330 before. So I'm not going to do it again, but I mean, these are the electric cars and, and I don't do many of the electric cars. This looks almost like a Tesla. So I think I've done the Atom. I'd have to take a look. Uh, Hoonigan Mustang. We've done one of those already. We did the pink one, I believe. Um, the 300 SL, we have done this. This is a red interior, 230,000 miles. So that's not going to be uh, something I want to do. S2000 AP2CR. Now, I don't think I've done this particular model. Um, it might be a fun little... How many miles are on it? 73. It might be a fun little car to do. What, what's the color of it? It's, it's bright blue. Um, 
This might be a fun little car to do. 73,000 miles. I, I don't, I've only done like one S2000, I believe. Um, another vanilla car, the F mill, 163. That's out. Uh, Cobra. Factory 5 Mark IV. We have done one of those. This is, this is one that has, oh, this has got Cobra engine in it. Yeah, I've done one of these already. It's in the, sh it's, it's in the parking garage, believe it or not. A Blaze at 186. Uh, Delray. 261. Spectra Fastback at 195. This is a gasser that never really made it. I, I, I never really made it to the Steam Workshop. I just never uploaded it. I, I just it's it's on my it's it, it's in my game. I just never uploaded it. But it's a, it's a config file. Um, maybe I need to look back into it if you guys are interested. But anyway, like I said, it's just it's just. One of those things. I think I'm gonna go back over here to the S2000. Um, it's it's got. I think we could probably. I think we've done one of these before. I really think. Well, hang on. I really have to take a look. So let me take a look and see if I've done one. Okay. So give me a second. Okay. So we have done this car once before, and it was a save. So let's go back over to um, Chrysler Vanilla Car, I believe. Is it up there or back over here? Maybe it was over here. Like one of the first cars I come across? Yeah, this one right here. So this is, I mean, to me, this is kind of an ugly car up front, but it's supercharged. And it kind of reminds me, I, the Chrysler 500s when it came out, it really reminded me of a, a mafia car, right? It really did. So I'm thinking, you know, even this one is a is a, a purple car. This might go deeper, go deeper into the uh, purple aspect. So I think I'm gonna go do ahead do this. 110,000 miles. Um, price tag on it. What's the price tag on this bad boy? Uh, 85. Only a, a couple of hundred bucks more than what it's really worth. But we're going to go ahead and buy it, send it to the garage, and then we'll see what we can do with it, okay? All right, let's get back to the garage. All right. She doesn't appear to be in too bad a shape. I didn't look all the way around. It has all the wheels on it, I guess. So we're going to strip her down, go ahead and take all the stuff off it that we don't need to have on it. We're going to take it back and give it a good bath because it needs it. And we want to get rid of all the rat feces and anything else we have in here. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? I hope this video is funny while happy and healthy. If you are enjoying the video, please consider hitting that like button down below. And uh, if you want to watch more content, uh, please hit that subscribe button as well. All right, the interior is going to be like a two-tone uh, it looks like a two-tone brown and black. Hmm. Okay, not fond of that color combination at all. I thought it was only dirt in there. So let's go ahead and send her over uh, to the car left. Go ahead and do the body work on her first just to see. There's one. Yeah, come on. Nope. 1100 bucks, huh? All right, let's take a look. Uh, looking uh, looking at the wheels. I can definitely go a little wider on the wheels, I think, and still keep it kind of underneath there. So that's going to be a tough call there. The color of this thing being purple, um, I don't know about that. So let's take a look at what the interior is supposed to look like here. Go ahead and get the interior all done up. Okay, so it's a two-tone black and gray. Okay. Uh, steering wheel, steering wheel six. Do I like it? Eh, it's not bad. 
I don't I don't mind it. We kind of keep it that way. That's good. I wanted to see what the interior was going to look like because I don't like the whole round crap that's in it. Um, so I thought maybe I'd have to go some. I'd have to go with a different direction with the outside color. I really want to keep it quite grayish. Man, this is just a horrible color combination in here, isn't it? Kind of hard to uh, make a decision as far as how I want to go with this. Um, yeah, the purple, the purple with it's not bad. It's pretty dark. It's metallic. Probably go a little deeper with it, but I don't think it really matches with the interior. Um, wow. Uh, a whole lot of coloring going on in there. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have to make a decision on that, definitely. Um, as I'm trying to think that through, let's go ahead and rip this rear end apart. You know, these wheels are not going to go back on it, so these things are out of here. Uh, this has got somewhat of a complicated rear end system on it, so this is going to be an interesting build. Uh, I've done this before. I figured I'd let you walk through this one. I'll walk you through with this one. How's that? Um, just because, you know, we've done engine builds in the past. We've done... Uh, I've showed you what I've go through for the engine builds. And, or, or, and you've seen interior pieces done, body work done. So let's do the rear suspension here. Oh, there you go. So, the interior really throws me off a little bit. Not sure what I want to do with that. Uh, brown, gray, and black. It's really an ugly color, an ugly combination, for sure. Um, so, what I think I might... Maybe white? Such a boring color. Could be a classic color too, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know, I don't know. I gotta take that other piece off. Rubber bushings, we're gonna provide uh, better bushings on the back with those uh, polypropylene bushings from TK Aftermarket are definitely gonna be the ones that we're gonna go on it. Sure, for sure. All right. So I'm, d I'm still trying to think of what color to paint this thing. Oh my gosh. Um, I really don't know. You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. And this is what I've done in all of my videos. What you guys don't see is the pain and agony I go through trying to figure out the best option, the best thing. Uh, the, the best colors for everything. So the car color is going to be based on, or I should say the underneath color, it's going to be based on the car color. So this is what I do sometimes, right? I'll bring this down, and what you guys don't see is what I edit out, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the car over into the paint. This is, I'm going to tell my secrets here. And then I go, okay, uh, what color do I paint it? So then I've got like, okay, what color do I paint it? Do I paint it yellow? Well, that doesn't look right, right? Uh, paint it blue? That doesn't look right. Uh, white or the gray, right? So let's go maybe a metallic silver. That might be our ticket right there because it doesn't, doesn't really clash that hard with the interior, right? doesn't really clash that hard with the interior. It actually kind of goes with the interior a little bit. So we may go with, the, remember, the third one in and go metallic. Now, what would the underneath be? Well, the underneath, I'm going to probably go with a turd brown just to keep it, um, just to keep the color um, palette kind of the same, right? So that's what I may go do is do a turd brown looking um, in, uh, underneath or maybe like a paper, paper bag brown. 
So that's how I do that. And then I send her back. And then what you guys see is what I painted and I've already decided the color, right? All right, so I've kind of let the cat out of the bag a little bit, but that's okay. Um, what do we have here? So we have um, some, several pieces here. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's go into our shop here, tune breaks. We're definitely going to do uh, all four of these, Three, four of those, four of those. Um, we're going to go to two of those and two of those. So that takes care of the break situation. Uh, anything else in the back? I don't think so. Oh, bushings, bushings, bushings. Uh, I don't know what it takes. Let me take a quick look at the... One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. So eight bushings on that. So we're going to go... If it's going to be brown and the underneath, we're already black and gray. So we're going to go, we're going to go eight with these. We're going to go eight of these. Right. So now that I have that, I can go back in here and delete or sell off the pieces I'm not going to use. Right? Um, these are the good bushings. I can sell off all the old bushings. Sell off the car parts because I don't need those in my stash here. Keeping the tires so I know what size I'm, I'm kind of working around, right? Um, what else do I need? Oh, I need these. This three wheel hub. This is a four lug, right? For the uh, for the disc brakes. So we're going to go uh, suspension. I believe there's a three lug. There's the full lug. We're going to get two of those. Let's go back to our inventory. And we're going to do those. All right. Now that we have pretty much our basics set up, we're going to do that too. Um, we'll delete that. We'll get something later. Get a couple of those. A couple of those bearings. Uh, pinion, differential. Two of those. One of those. One. Two. 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 Two, uh, one, two, two, two of those, two of the springs, two of the caps, two of the bearings. Right, fair enough. So, got all of those in my inventory. So we're gonna go ahead and pop out of there. And here, open up my sh list. Uh, got the wrong one here. Pinion bearing times two. Differential flange one. Differential one, caps two, cover one, pinion gear one, those, those fits in pairs. So you're going to see just how painful it is when I go through the painting process of these things. we go now that I have everything what I'm gonna just go in here I sell off all the parts that I'm not gonna need bing bingo done all right now to the paint shop don't let the door hit me on the way in all right Brimbos we said we're gonna go with the brown so we're gonna go here we're gonna paint everything in fully paintable now the inside is like a paper bag color, right? So maybe a little brighter than that. That doesn't look right. Saturation. That's okay. Okay. So what I need to do, this is what I usually do, right? I usually go look at the rear end. Let me get the rear end. Everybody's looking at the rear end. <laughs> So I'm going to take the rear end, right? We're going to take it and take a look at what color um, I can do it in. This one is kind of a darker brown. Go into the color combination here. We'll unsaturate it to 70. 
darken it or lighten it up. No. Nope. I'm going to go silver with it. Silver and the brown. I don't know if the silver and the brown really go. <sighs> Dang. You know, this is such a hard, hard thing to do. Um, it needs to be darker than that, though. Wood 50. It almost throws it into a red hue, doesn't it? Um, but it needs to be more of a orange hue. It kind of gives it a weird bronze color. Um... So I'm trying to think of what it looks like as far as the brown. So yeah, like like this color right here. I mean, I don't think it would really look good. It doesn't really pop underneath the car. And even though I was trying to get it something to bring with it. Uh, so let's go back here. Um, we go here, if we went metallic like a darker color like a darker color silver now that might be now this might work um oh man where'd it go that might work out um it'll be darker than the car um but the engine's going to have to pop because this is not going to work out very well at all. Um, wow. So many, see, this is what I sit and do. So what you don't see is what you are actually experiencing right now. I don't know how to do this. Um, I really think with the color combination of the interior, I may just keep... The underneath, very, very simple. Um, why does that change? So I may keep it fairly simple. I'm going to do this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it, see it change color on me. And I don't like that. Um, okay, so let's see here. Mixed one, mixed two. Something's going on here. All right. It's already a custom color. I wanted it to go metallic. That's the color I want it to be. And it goes lighter. Ah, damn it. All right. So much for... So much for that. Let's see. Metal. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. Roughness. Okay. Maybe I can do it this way. Paint it a dark color. It stays that color. Okay. So that's the, what I'm going to do with it. Now, for like my, for my Brimbos, because it's a silver outdoor, because uh, uh, it's a silver, I'm planning on going silver with it. These are going bright red. No doubt. No question about it. So those are going to go bright red. So now you see what my process, my mental process is. I'm going through this, trying to figure everything out, and you understand. So, let me get this all painted up, and I'll meet you guys back in the garage, and we'll get this uh, reassembled, all right? All right, be back in a few. All right, back from the paint shop, here we go. So, this is what we decided to do with it. We've kind of got a, a grayish color with the black polypropylene bushings. I did the... The, these pieces here in a chrome, which kind of matches the exhaust system, which I've already done. 
So we have that going for us. Um, front here. We have got that pinion bearing in. Pinion shaft and bearing. We can put this flange on. I painted that all the same color. Uh, spring cap, I kept chrome. But for springs, I usually do yellow. This time around, I decided to do that splash red. Shock absorbers, no shocker, black. Uh, a trailing arm, had to go chrome with this. I wanted to go chrome with it because it just kind of looks really good. Uh, mounting bracket stayed the color of the axle along with the wheel hub there, right? Um, let's go ahead underneath here. Get the differential in. Two caps, we'll get those taken care of. So really not a big splash of color underneath, but all the same, we do have a pretty good, pretty good splash of chrome and gray with the red going on underneath here, which I don't know if it's gonna turn out that great once we get it all together, but we'll see. Uh, we'll get that. Of course, we did all the Brimbos all the way around with the bright red calipers, right? So that gives the uh, underneath, gives the underneath just kind of like this tri-colored look. The gray, the red, and the black, and the chrome. So that's how I'm going to approach it. And you see, as you can tell, that's how I go, I kind of approach it that way. And I agonize over it. You guys do not understand I probably sit here and go through color combinations several times over before I figure out, okay, this is the route. This is the way I'm going to go, right? And and even when I do that, even sometimes I think of the past couple of videos or past few videos, um, I was like, okay, well, nope, that didn't work out. So let's go with a different color altogether. So I do. I, I just go with a different color altogether. But as you can tell, that is my process. That's the way I do things. Um, take it or leave it. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, it's just the way I do things. All right, I've got, um, that's all for the front end. We're gonna go ahead and attack the front end. Go ahead and get that taken care of. Uh, might as well take the transmission. Can I get the transmission out of here? Yeah. Um, go ahead and get the transmission out of here. Take a look underneath the engine, or underneath the uh, underneath the hood here. Let's go ahead and grab this, and yank this out. Cause I already know what I'm going to put in it. I'm going to put that supercharged V8 back in it. Um, so I know that's going to be the thing. So looks like there is absolutely nothing underneath here. My God, um, Jesus. Uh, Remove it. One C. Jeez. Not any. There's not a whole lot underneath the hood of this thing. So what we're going to do is I do that. I'm going to collect all the pieces that I'm going to need here. Uh, air. Battery tray. Okay. So I'm going to need a battery. Um, need a battery tray. Two of those, none of these work out for it. None of them whatsoever. So we're gonna go back over here, go to car parts. Uh, reservoir, yes, check. Car steering, check. Uh, coolant B, check. Radiator A, which will probably require some fans. Uh, a, fuse box A, I'll get another dump brake servo. Battery tray, we already got ABS pump. So let's go over to the electronic section. Come on, there we go. So we need that, we need that. We are going to need use box A. So let's go ahead and delete that. Then we'll look at use box A, fuse box A cover, and we know just from personal experience, I think it's three A's, two or three of the B's, one or two of the C's. Uh, we'll go with three A's, three B's, maybe four C's. Just to, just to cover all the bases, right? But that's what we're going to hit first. We're going to hit put that in there. If 
four C's. I, I knew something had four. This should go pretty quick. As you can tell, I've done this an awful lot to know approximately what I need. Right? So it's not actually... I don't have it down to a science. Because it feels like some of the cars have different different ones. Reservoir, reservoir. Brakes. Uh, ABS pump. Module. Battery tray. Battery. Um, we need that. We need that. Pick that up. Don't oh, this thing have a, a chip? This doesn't have a oh yes it does. ECU right there. So we're gonna have to pick that up. All right, ECU. Um, let's go ahead and go here. ECA. Let's just type it in because you can never find it. ECU A stage three. We always go stage three. Always go stage three. Get the most power out of it as possible. Um, air filter. We need that fan. That air filter. Let's go need that. That air filter. And housing B. And then we wipe that out. Uh, fan. We need fan one and fan two. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Filter. I think these are bolted on. I think this is bolted on, so that's not a big deal. Oh, nope, nope, it's got clips. It's got clips. So, so clip B. Go ahead and get a couple of these. There we go. All right. So now that I'm going to finish up this, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to start taking the front end apart. And I'll be back with all the painted pieces and um, we'll start putting it together. All right. All right. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. We have all the pieces all painted up. We are ready to go with this thing. Wow. I think this took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Um, just because I've not only did the front suspension, but I've also built the engine and I've got the wheels, at least the rear wheels, uh, situated as to what I want to put on there. So we're going to put this all together here real quick. I've even got the shock absorbers put together. Um, that's a bonus. Usually I don't. I usually come back in and go, oh, oh, oh I forgot those. Um, yeah, we've got those. We've got the engine all situated. We've got everything ready to go oh, i've even put all the uh, body panels on i picked up a couple of uh, uh tuning body panels to put on or a couple of tuning body parts to put on and we'll see here in a minute the hood is probably the, the major difference um i don't have the front wheels set up yet i do not have the tires for the front wheels yet i have the rims i don't have the rest of it so that's going to it's going to be a choice we're going to make here in a few minutes after we get everything else situated here, uh, here, here, and here, this is going to go fairly quickly. So be be aware, it's going to go quick. I am doing the uh, TK aftermarket uh, lower control arm, so that's a bonus. Uh, as you notice, I stuck with the red springs. Usually, I'm doing yellow springs, but this time around. I'm doing the red springs, uh, just a splash of red underneath, uh, just to give it that extra oomph, you know what I mean? Uh, so I thought that would be really, really nice. Uh, do we got everything here? Here? Oh, nope, nope, we got one more bushing. And, okay, 
So now we've got that all set up. So we've got that pretty much set up. Now let's take a look at my engine here. Uh, we've done it up in red. So not only did we have a splash of red underneath, but we did a, a splash of red on top as well. Uh, so we're going to take that bad boy off. We're going to throw red. Put the transmission in. Come on. Oh, she's up too high. That's why. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's just wicked cool right there. I like that. Uh, we'll put the new engine in it. Uh, let's see. We might as well go ahead and put fluids in it while we're here. I'm always forgetting the fluids, so this is probably a good time to go ahead and get the fluids all done up. Got coolant, oil, wiper fluid, power steering. But yeah, I painted the painted the valve covers, the valve covers that the color of the framework underneath. It just kind of inverted the engine from underneath, right? So the underneath has like the dark gray and just splashes of red. Um, or the engine now has is red with the splashes of the dark gray. <laughs> so that's how I did that. Kind of just inverted the colors a little bit. Okay. That's all done. Uh, wheels. Uh, I have yet to do the front tires yet, so here we go with the rear wheels. We're gonna go with the rim. These classics right here, I painted the, the center of it. it. You can't really tell, but it is like a dark grayish color. And I'm running 22s on the back. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run 22s. This originally came with 21s. I'm going to run 22s on the back. I'm going to run 21s up front just for the fun of it. Uh, let me go ahead and add gearbox, which I've painted red as well. Uh, starter. Drive shaft, which I've now that, now that I know I can get that, these, this carbon fiber drive shaft, I'm using it on every build. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Let me get a couple of those from Tune-Up Shop. Go, add those on there. That's pretty much for that. Now we need to do the front wheels. Um, I've got the rims. I don't have the wheels. Let me get rid of these. So these are 21s. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um two of these are 21s uh, I'm gonna go with a uh, 285 45 up front Just keeping with the uh, pro the profile um, keeping the profile the same it might give me a little bit of a, a rake to it I don't know we'll see um, a 45 is on the back and a 22 and a 45 is up front but a 21 will be a little bit different. You know what I mean? So hopefully it will. It may not give it a whole lot, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Bad boys get ready to go to the test path. All right, let's see what this looks like on the front. I may be screwing up here. Looks like it fills the wheel wheels pretty well because the 21s did come out of it. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think the width of it is, is decent. It would probably do good on the track. I'm not sure. Okay, I think we are, are we complete. Uh, body is 90%. I think that might be just because of the license plates. Do a double check here. Yeah, plates. So we're just going to put the plate on the back, screw the front. Never been a I've never been a uh, big advocate of license plates on the front of a car anyway. So Ohio just recently, uh, not too long ago, decided to go with a single plate on the rear, which I was happy about. I just I just love it. Um, all right, 
So let me put this down. We are going to send her over to the test path. And once we get done with the test path, I will meet you over in the paint shop. All right. All right I'll see you there. All right. As we said earlier, we were going to paint this bad boy a gray. Third one in. Uh, third one in. No, is it the third one in? Okay, this one. Metallic. So, yeah. That looks pretty, pretty decent. It's like a silver color. I think, though, with this, um, let me see. What, what, do we have any liveries? Uh, we have a dual striped livery. So that might be a might be an option. That's black. Uh, black stripes. Gray stripes. Gray stripes. Not too bad. We're not going to go. The difference between the. Gray sign stripes. I have no idea. White stripes on the top or none. All right. I think what we're going to do is we're going to paint it right here. We're going to keep it a solid color. I'm going to take the hood off of this. I'm going to see what this is going to take. I'm going to see what this is going to look like. Just a matte black. Black. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, not too bad, I don't think. I don't think it looks too bad at all. Uh, I think I'm going to go with that. All right. So before I even take it over to the test path, right, I want to take it back into the shop. So I definitely want the windows tinted. Let me grab the window tint. This is going to go fairly dark. We're going to go with probably a 75%. We're going to go with a 90%. This is probably the darkest I've done on this channel. 90%. We're going to tint it. All right. 90%. Now let's move her over to the dyno. Okay. First and foremost, we have to adjust on the chip. This is going to be interesting. get you there nope okay so need to get you less than one uh oh there we go boom done 16 percent increase yikes all right let's see what we get out of this bad boy We like more than doubled, doubled our horsepower. So, a seventeen seventy-five on a horsepower, fifteen ninety-nine. We were on a high A's for the drag strip. Wow, that put down some pretty impressive, some pretty impressive power. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is your time to shine. This is where you tell me, is it worth it to keep it? Should I keep it? Do I save it or do I sell it? Totally up in your hands at this time. Um, I think the build didn't come out too bad, too bad at all. Um, especially with the 305s in the back. They actually fit up underneath there really, really well. I was pretty impressed with that. But like I said, it is totally up to you right now. Do I save it or do I sell it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for hanging with me. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. 
Uh, if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe, consider subscribing. I always do this for fun. So um, no memberships, no nothing. So this is all free. You can subscribe if you want to. Come back when you want. I love it. All right, guys. Thanks again. Appreciate it. And I will see you on the next episode of Raw to Rad. This is Quasar saying goodnight. And I am out.